Every month, one lucky subscriber to my channel will win a 30-minute reading from me. Hi, and welcome to Sandy's Numerology. I'm going to be looking at the top banks in South Africa, including the Reserve Bank. It's born on the 26th of November, 1986, and it is in a personal year of severing ties. But it's doing this rebranding, which must be costing a fortune, and it's just these old, old corporate ways. But what is interesting for APSA is internally in 2020 and 2021, there's a complete restructuring of the bank. There is new management coming into play. And again, is this going to be affected by our voting uh, is it going to be affected by the world and what's going on in the Northern Hemisphere and the dollar, which is going to continue rising, but eventually that dollar is going to peak and it's going to fall. But at the age 31, which is what APSA is, and 32, there's definitely going to be a lot of problems that are felt from the outside, which is us, the people, and also felt with who they are doing business with or who's wanting to do business with APSA. Some massive changes are coming. There's going to be some fraud, um, not that we actually get to hear about um, any of the fraud things, but in 2019, there's going to be some fraudulent things that are going to be happening and it'll be all the way through to 2022. So Epson needs to be a little bit smarter and on track with how it deals with things. And Epsa sits in a massive fraud, fraud triangle at, at the age of 36 and that's 2023. And that's big. That's, that is sitting is it internally? Is it coming from outside? Or is this all to deal with how things are going to be changing from a banking perspective and how the markets are affecting APSA Bank? Go ahead, click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notification of my next video.